Hello everyone. Today we are sitting in the remembrance of our beloved Maharaj Kirpal Singh Ji, who left his physical body and went back to his real home, Sachkant, 49 years ago. The incident which I am going to share with you today is of the time when Master Kripal Singh Ji was still a disciple. He had received the holy initiation from Baba Savan Singh Ji and had advanced a lot in the spiritual practices. He was given the seva of doing the satsang by Baba Savan Singh Ji and he used to go to different places for doing the satsangs. Not only did he do the seva of the satsang, but he would always go and attend to the people, whether they were satsangis or not, but he would always be available to those who needed any kind of help, be it physical or spiritual. Because of his <clears throat> selfless seva, he became very popular among the satsangis and also the non-satsangis. And many dear ones who knew him became very close to him. Because he who talks about God Almighty, he who helps you in the name of Lord Almighty, would you not want to become close to him? So like that, Raja Ram the jeweler from the city of Rawalpindi became one of very good friends of Master Kripal Singh Ji. Raja Ram the jeweler was an initiate of Baba Saman Singh Ji and he was a very devoted disciple of Baba Saman Singh Ji. Raja Ram's wife Bibi Hardevi, whom we know as respected Taiji. You all know about her, that how she did a lot of seva to our beloved Master Kripal Singh Ji. It was Master Kripal's routine to spend the weekend at the Dera in Bias, going on the Friday night train and returning to Lahore on Sunday night. Once it so happened that he decided to stay over in the Dera on Sunday night and return to Lahore on the Monday morning train. When Raja Ramji heard about this change in plan, considerate and loving friend that he was, he voiced concern to know where and how Master Kripal would have his breakfast. For the morning train left very early and he knew that Master Kirpal would not go home first, but would go straight to his office when he arrived in Lahore. Kirpal laughed and brushed the question aside in his usual way of dealing with anything concerning his own comfort. But Taiji was not about to abandon the matter and cheerfully suggested, well, we will bring the breakfast by car from our home, two stops before Lahore, get into Master Kripal's train and have breakfast with him. Then we will get out at the next stop and go home by the car, which will be brought by the driver. This arrangement was heartily approved by Raja Ramji and has he and her Devi, beloved Taiji, left Bias by car on the Sunday he reminded Master Kirpal that remember, we will be seeing you on the train tomorrow morning for breakfast. Master Kirpal arrived very early at Bias train station on the Monday morning, only to discover that his train was running one hour late. Considering it a pity to just waste an hour, he sat down on a wooden bench at the end of the platform closed his eyes and went into the blissful remembrance of his master. An hour passed, 
the train came and left, and Kripal was still sitting on the bench, oblivious of everything but his beloved Lord Savan. He continued his meditation until noon, and then suddenly realized that not only had he missed the train, but he had failed to report for duty as it, at his office. And what was more, he had let down Raja Ramji and his wife, who had gone to a great deal of trouble to provide breakfast for him, and he had not been on the train to meet them. He resolved to catch the next train to Rahul Pindi, go straight to Raja Ram's house and apologize to them. From there, he would also telephone his office. Raja Ramji and Taiji had risen very early that morning and Taiji herself had prepared a delicious breakfast, packing it carefully for the journey. When the train arrived, they sent their servant to find Master Kripal's compartment and instructed the driver to take the car and meet them at the next station. The servant ran through the compartments until he found Master Kripal sitting quite relaxed and at ease. As Raja Ramji approached, Master Kripal quickly rose with a smile and protested all the trouble they had taken on his behalf. A group of Master Saman Singh's disciples were also boarding the train, and when they saw Master Kripal, they delightedly folded their hands to him, eager for his darshan. As the train continued on his journey, <clears throat> Taiji opened the basket and spread out the breakfast. Master Kripal accepted the food she gave him, complimented her on the tasteful meal, and thanked them both again for their kindness. Raja Ramji's car was awaiting them at the next station, and the friends bade a happy farewell, got in their car, and drove home. That afternoon, there was a knock at the door, and Raja Ram himself went to open it. He was surprised to see Master Kirpal standing there. Kirpal at once began apologizing for missing the train and not meeting them for breakfast, explaining that he had caught the very next train to see them and hope that he had not inconvenienced them to an unforgivable extent. Dumbfounded, Raja Ramji listened with a mystified expression on his face. When Master Kripal paused eventually, he could only voice his puzzlement. Was there some kind of a joke being played? At this, it was Master Kripal's turn to be mystified as he heard how Raja Ram and Taiji and himself all had enjoyed breakfast together on the train, which could be confirmed by the disciples who had spoken to them. It was indeed mystifying. But at the end of Raja Ramji's account, Master Kripal smiled and remarked that he who knows all knows exactly what happened. Quiet at home among his friends, Master Kripal asked if there was a room in which he could rest for a while. And Raja Ram, perceptive as always, looked closely at Master Kripal and said, that means you have not had any food since last night. It was an enigma. Was this Kripal or was he the one on the train was Kripal? After enjoying an excellent meal from Taiji's kitchen, Kripal asked Raja Ramji if he would kindly telephone his office and explain how he had been delayed by missing the train. Assured that his request would be met, Master Kripal went to lie down in another room. It is conceivable that poor Raja Ram's confusion increased when he talked with Master Kripal's office and was told that they could not understand what he was talking about. For Kripal Singh had come to the office as usual, had finished his work, 
early and had left for home just five minutes before. Raja Ram hung up the phone and rushed to the room where Master Kripal had been resting. Master Kripal was there, resting peacefully with his eyes closed. <clears throat> when Raja Ram Ji told Master Kripal Singh what his office had told him, that you were at the office, you did all your work, and you had just left a few minutes before, Master Kripal Singh Ji smiled. He looked above, folded his hands, and said, this is the grace of my beloved Lord. Then Master Kripal Singh Ji told them that when you devote your life to the work of the Master, when you sit in his remembrance, he who is within you knows your responsibilities and many times taking your own form, he attends to your responsibilities. Now, this is the incident of the time when Master Kirpal Singh had not yet become the master. He was still a disciple of Baba Saman Singh Ji, even though due to his devotion and his meditation, the master was manifested within him. And Baba Saman Singh Ji had given him the responsibility of the Sangat, but still, officially, he was still a disciple. Our beloved Santa Jayab Singh Ji Maharaj used to tell us this story. And he would tell us about so many other stories of our beloved Master Kripal Singh Ji, that how he would be giving satsang at one place, but at the other places, he would be either taking care of the souls of the people who would be leaving the body, or he would be protecting them. Such great was Master Kripal Singh. Our beloved Master Baba Saman Singh Ji always used to say that masters can be at this place and many other places at the same time because they are everywhere. They are not the body, they are the Shabad and Shabad is all pervading. 